Historic and devastating flooding continues to hit many parts of Nebraska and southwest Iowa. These aerial views showed the destruction in both states. We have teammate coverage of the flooding impacting other parts of the state. We start with senior reporter Todd Mago live in Hamburg tonight. Laura and Stacy, I'm standing in the middle of Hamburg's Main Street. I'm the only one here. That's because look down the street. There is water coming from the Missouri River all the way up through town past the flagpoles, past a barrier that broke earlier this morning and into door to door all of the businesses here in town. Take a live look at Sky 8. This shows just how devastating and how widespread this flooding is. The Missouri River is actually several miles down the road, but thanks to flooding, all that water is now in the middle of Hamburg and the town has been evacuated. Where you look, there is water, mile after mile of water surrounding the small town of Hamburg. The Missouri River is roaring out of its banks and shut down rural roads, interstates, and several other towns in southwest Iowa. This is the worst I've ever seen. I've born and raised here. I'm 55 years old. 55 years, I've never seen anything like this. The view along Hamburg's Main Street shows the devastation. A levee break overnight sent the river into the business district. 500 people have been evacuated. That's almost half the town's population. The water supply is shut off. The sewer system is not working. Most of the power in Hamburg is out. Rod and Peg Wilson lost their Main Street business where they work and live. We just had a short time to get essentials and dogs and us out the door, but the important stuff we got and the rest will have to be replaced. John Davis lives here with his 90 year old mother. The flood waters surround his home and car. It's a tough break for residents who have lost so much. This is the highest it's been since 1892. This is not supposed to be here. So it's pretty bad. It's very bad. We are back live with the Sky Aid drone taking a look at just how widespread these floodwaters are. No matter where you look, mile after mile of floodwater here in Hamburg. Now they're hoping that these floodwaters crest sometime tonight in town, and there's a good sign that that could happen, but it may take days or even more than a week for this water to recede. Then they'll get into town, assess the damage, and hopefully see if they can get the water system back on, all the power back on, and the sewage system back on for people to come back to their homes. We're live in Hamburg in southwest Iowa. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. In Nebraska, more than 50 counties remain in a state of emergency due to this severe flooding. It's nearly impossible to get into western Douglas County. Crews say the roads are not safe for travel. Our sister station, KETV, says it took their reporters four hours to navigate their way around Nebraska to just to reach the town of Valley. And once they got there, they found water over the streets in much of the town center. Residents say that water rushed in so quickly they had little time to prepare. But many people who had to be forced from their homes are thankful for the help they got. And we're Definitely. thankful for everyone that has come out here to help. Uh, the first responders that have risked their lives to help these people. We're so thankful for them. In northern Nebraska, along the South Dakota border, a dam near Spencer, Nebraska, was completely washed out. You're seeing those pictures. Officials with the U.S. Geological Survey say they were watching the final moments before that dam gave way. The gauge was ripped away by the wall of water. The 90-year-old dam failed under pressure from the river that was swollen with rain, snowmelt, and ice chunks.